in play.
Apologies for the uh, lack of comms. The guy who's uh, scheduled to be on here is still on the other table commentating. I hadn't realised, so just jumped in and uh, actually quite happy to as well because um, it's a great game. Jack Whelan against uh, young Tom, Tom Jones. Um, I haven't seen what's gone so far. I was just uh, over in the comms room watching Phil Harrison get through into the final. So the final of Pro 1 is uh, Phil Harrison versus John McAllister. So joined on comms by Ryan Lambeth. Evening, Ryan. How are you? Evening, Nick. Yeah, not too bad. Good, good. Good weekend for you so far. A couple, yeah. of, couple of good sculpts. A good, a good start to the, uh, to the your first foray into the pro. Yeah, not too bad. Better than what I expected. Obviously, I've got two tough draws, and I said, I said to myself, before I come away, if I could win one of them, I'll be happy. Yep. And I've managed to do both. So. Yep. Absolutely. More than happy. Yeah, you know, I mean that's really all you can do. You know, you kind of set your expectations for the weekend, and you know, as, as much as you, you know, you dream of, you know, going deep in the tournament, you know, they're they're, they're tough draws, and, and to beat those two players in, in the way you did, you know, there's a, there's a couple of great scops that's got to give you a, a, a lot of confidence um, in uh, in in your game in the rest of the season. Really, you know now that you can already, you know, mix it. Oh, look at that for a shot from Tom. <laughs> <laughs> How's your luck? He's had a bit there, hasn't he? God, dear me. Jack uh, parked in his seat. I'd love to have seen the look on his face. Bet he's carousing. Still got to cue this. Yeah, they're not easy from the jaws. Oh, tried to come out. It tried to pop out. He tried to hold that cue ball on the yellows, and it's just gone a bit high now, and this left a. Really smelly eight ball doesn't go to bottom <laughs> bottom left. So I don't actually think it's cuttable. It's going to be the double by the look of it. Oh. It wasn't the double. I don't know. It was some kind of cocked hat or something, wasn't it? Yeah, Not quite it's sure. Very hard. He's, he's just. just Chucked his arm at that one. Yeah. Tom's one of those players, isn't he? But much like yourself, really. I mean, it's uh, you know you're you're, you're going to produce some some great results over the year. You already have done. Tom's another one of those players. He's a he's a quick, destructive player that really you don't want to see him. You know, on paper you think to yourself, you know, and Jack is Jack goes into this match as a pretty solid favourite but but Tom's the kind of player that he can fire in three four frames in a real hurry because he's so quick around the table yeah he's yeah like so quick and if he's flying you like four frames on the ball can can be put on there but like like, like they're going out of fashion yeah but on the other hand if he's not if he's not flying yeah. it, it looks a bit loose and yeah and, yeah. and starts creeping into your head a bit of pressure yeah. before you know it you chase him so we know the final the final of Pro 1 and that final is going to be coming your way probably in a, about 15 minutes so stick with this game for now no doubt you'll probably want to go across and watch some of that final but in the meantime this is a great warm up to the final 
That final, of course, John McAllister and Phil Harrison. It's okay. Just gets there. It's got a big angle, but... Uh, yeah, the way, the way these cloths react, this one on the top rail is it's pretty light work to get over to the side rail. Looks harder than what it is. Yeah, it just takes his medicine though. He doesn't try and do too much or get too close. This is a tester. You fancy Jack to get it, but it is a tester. No. No. Wow, that's a surprise. Pushed it straight towards the red as well, didn't he? Yeah, didn't he's give just it a chance. It into the rail. I feel like he needs to get closer to it from, from where he was. Yeah. Do you find do you find them easier when they're kind of inch off the rail like that or when they're kind of welded to the to the cushion? A bit easier to judge when on the on the cushion, do you think? Yeah, no, like for me I I'd probably prefer it an inch off the rail, but a do lot you? of people would say on the cushion. Yeah. Yeah. It's better. But yeah. Yeah, and this is where Tom can be dangerous because he's because he's a confidence player and <laughs> as I say it, commentator's curse. Yeah. He's gone in off. Dumps the cue ball. All well, these reds are you'd think pretty much unmissable for a player of Tom's calibre. Still, lots of action coming your way this evening. Uh, not just that uh, main event final, but also the um, action coming thick and fast over on the other table as well. Still a couple of games. They're just behind with the action on that table, so there's a couple of games still to come. Um, over on table three, just about to get underway is Luke Sanjis and Declan Brennan. Carl Cope. And Sean Story locked up at five each. There's not been anything between those two players in that in that match. They're over towards the back of the, the, the pro arena behind these tables. I know someone is actually waiting for Carl in, a, in quite a big bet. Um, I think they're waiting for him for like 1,200 <coughs> quid. Waiting for who, sorry? Carl to beat Sean Story. Oh, wow. He just looks, Carl just looks so solid on yeah. his first like pro debut. It's yeah. It's crazy, really. Yeah, it really is. It really is. It looks like he's been there for five years. Mm. Yeah, if you've been at the top of the snooker game, like it's, it's the same thing. It's just you got to be professional, hold yourself together. Like Dave will obviously give him a lot of. That's a shock for Tom, yeah. uh, for Jack. Yeah. The, the, the fact that he's in your corner is going to give you a lot of confidence as well. Just better look across and see a man of that stature just cheering you on and watching you and knowing that he's got your back, it's going to give you a lift. Yeah, if a man, if a man of his stature's got your back, then you know that you're, you're doing the right things. Yeah. Because I, I, I don't know Dave, but he ain't going to waste his time. Yeah. Great opportunity here for Tom from that uh, in off. The collector's item, what's happened there? Yeah. Jack Whelan screwing into the top, yep. top pocket. Yeah. See John McAllister in the background there just getting his cue out. Is that for the final? Yep. Who is it? Is it him and Phil in the final? Him and Phil, yep. Yeah, Phil was 6 5 down. Uh, sorry, 5 4 down to Cormac and uh, came back to win 7 5. Thing is, fe feels so solid. He's just never beaten. Yeah, it's like he's got an ice running through his veins. But he's he's been around the block and back. He's been there for years. Carl Cope now on the hill against Sean Story. So he just needs to. These are the ones that are really hard on these tables, yeah. just the little delicate ones and yeah. ones that you can't really use a cushion. He needs to judge this one. He gets this right. 
should be there. I think that's okay. Played it pretty well. Yep. Top top three. It's just a black now, really. He's got to finish the right side of it. Yeah. Think, uh, he's not happy. I think he'd have wanted to be a little bit higher. So he could have just played it into the right middle and then black into the left middle. Yeah. I think it's probably okay just to screw past the the eight ball. We can use that red as a guide. I think he's okay to do that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, he could. Absolutely fine. Do you take it up the top or in the middle? I take this to the middle, personally. He's going top. I guess what is it? whether the middle's a little bit in off, but I don't think it is. But it's just one of those, and it's a question of choice. If they're there, he'll take them. Nine to like ten, he'll get them, but sometimes he'll be a little bit loose. And That's a gun of a break. Then. Absolutely. He's been pretty unlucky with the layout. He has. He really has. I mean, the reds are all there, but has he got an opener? Can he get can past he get, the yeah. one? Get past the yellow near the, the one near the bulk line. If he can get past that one, they're yeah, actually fine. quite nice. I'm not sure he can, you know. Not sure he can. Well, uh, yeah, from here maybe he can. Bit of right hand side. Yeah, maybe he's got to play right hand side anyway to take it around the back of the yellows. No. Uh, he's got to play a safety. Yeah. That is very unlucky to get that kind of a that that kind of break and leave it open to not have anything is very unfortunate. But Tom definitely ain't gonna want to take yellows here and really there's there's not a red to go at so you could just see another safety being played here. Christy Colefield's won the first two frames against Arf and Dad. He's proven to be a handful in his first event as a pro. I think Tom's got a long one here. It's a bit of a loose safety from Jack. This is pretty much a frame winner. I think you're right, you can get past. Just needs to cue it. Ooh, nearly went off as well. I don't really know what he was playing there. Didn't look like it went. No. Not sure he knows either. <laughs> judging by the look, if I could lip read properly, I think that was what was that? Yeah. yeah, he left an opener for Jack. He's going to take yellows, and uh, you got the three. I don't think he'll be going for the clearance here unless that yellow at the, the furthest at the top of the table goes. So I think he's got the angle where he can get across and cannon. If he can cannon the middle one of the three towards the bottom of that, that ball, maybe on. Yeah, just like that. It was, he just needed to catch that on the kind of bottom side of it. He's stuck on it. If it's touching ball, that's horrible. If he had even any t tiny gap there, he had a simple plant. Now he's got to play away. Even a millimetre between the two balls and he can play across it and he's got a plant. He's really not happy at, like... I think this is a... He's just unlucky to be touching ball, isn't he? Yes. Like, obviously with cannons, you've got to sometimes be controlled, but there wasn't really much control to be had there. There's only one shot. Just tried playing a safety, and I think it's gone wrong. Under hit it. It's not left an easy opener for Tom, but... These are the type of ones with Tom's cue in action. He, he does get, though, because he's got a, quite a... Revy straight cue in action. <coughs> didn't stroke it, did he? He just rushed that. Yeah, just didn't didn't stroke it in. He's really not happy at the moment. Yeah, the same can be said for both players. Jack William was just sat in the corner shaking his head, but Jack would be very happy now because he's got a formality of a clearance to go three each big frame this one if Tom could have won this one that two frame lead that could have really been key it's going to come back for the plan 
the only the only thing that can go wrong with this finish now is this plant, but it's pretty much dead set. Yeah, that's a that's a lot thinner than he wanted it to be. I mean, I don't know how thin it is. Whether he can actually get far enough down the table, I think he can. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. I think I think he's got to pull off a shot here. I don't think he can just cut that in and. It's really thin, isn't it? Yeah. You can't get enough side into it to get down down table. With these tables being so slidey and quick as well, this is going to be a hard shot. He certainly can't hold it. He's going to have to come across two I cushions. He's getting three cushions. He's had a bit of luck, yeah. Hadn't he? Hasn't he ever? That could have definitely gone wrong. Trusted a bit to luck and comes out in his favour. Oh, I thought he was going in behind those reds. Then. He's levelled it up. Oh, Jamie Bennett that I can see. So yeah, maybe they didn't take the place. There we go. Back to back to normal for Jack. Three balls off the break. Yeah. Those yellows. And lovely. I can tell you Phil Harrison's won the first frame against John McAllister. How did how did Carl Cope and Sean Story go in a decider? Is that finished yet or You're giving me some work to do tonight. <laughs> John Story, you beat him 7 6. A tough one to take for Carl. Yeah. In 6 5 up. Yeah. For certain. Looks a formality for Jack. Just needs to make sure he leaves the right angle. This yellow. Oh. I don't think he wanted to be straight away. No, I think he wanted a little angle just to drift down and land on the yellow below the black. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Now he's going to have to just stun this one and screw the yellow over the pocket back up, and yeah, there and can be a bit of a problem with that. Yeah, he's going to have to cue one for sure. Just drop this in, just stun it in, dead weight, um, hold the gap. Yeah. I don't know if he can play the plant. Or if he's just going to just screw back up for it. No, he's going to screw back up. Yeah, for sure. Up. He's just left an angle where he can use the cushion, which always helps you judge the pace. It shouldn't be a problem, but problem he has stuck himself to the rail up with the black. He has. And I'm not sure this is any good. Because he's going to, he's going to make contact with the eight ball. He's got to play a shot. Yeah, and then he's relying on a little bit of luck. Well, if he went the way we both said, there was really no problem that could come, but... He should judge this cannon. There we no go. No good. Well, I say no good. I mean, he's still got a quarter ball cut to bottom left, so he still has it. I don't think there's a problem with the white. He's just got to concentrate on the pot. Yeah. No. It's just, he's a bit out of sorts, isn't he? You just don't see... This is very rare for Jack. Yeah. Normally it's 10, 10 out of 10 pull normally. So John McAllister, Phil Harrison uh, trading blows. It's one each. John McAllister is at the table having broken. So we'll keep a close eye on that one and what's happening. Put a hand up in apology. It's a big, big bag in the top left. If he can get this double right, it's, it's quite nice. Oh, oh! He didn't want that to drop. That would have been a foul. Would really it have been a foul? No, it wouldn't have been a foul. I was going to say it needs to be potted in its own right, but he contacted the, the eight first, so it wouldn't have mattered that the red went in. So that would have, that would have been frame. I feel like with Jack, like 
I don't, I don't know what his practice is like, or but he's. It just doesn't look like he's flowing. Yeah. He's not. He's not his normal self for sure. He's not the Jack Whelan we we normally expect. Yeah. And this this is a little bit of a mop up for Tom. He'll be licking his lips at this one. To go four three. Pull one into the middle and black over the O for 4 3. Tom comes up off his break, doesn't he? As he's. As the cue's coming through, he kind of, kind of stands up off of it. Something that Phil Harrison does actually when he breaks, he just brings his body up just to make room for his arm to come through. Yeah, but. I feel with that, if head movement brings less yeah. control on the wide. Absolutely, yeah. It's not something you teach for sure. Like he's always flaring with the corner pockets in this match. Like, yeah, he gets good power, but the the cue ball's travelling a bit. Good time management causes extension. Just settling himself. It's definitely, definitely so better than what I am. Time management for me is a massive problem at the minute. Yeah, it takes a takes a lot of getting used to. I mean, Phil Harrison took him a couple of years to to kind of get there, and he still struggles a bit with the certainly with the 15 second clock. I, I guess you haven't played under the 15 second conditions yet, have you? I did. It did come in against Shane. Oh, it did. Yeah, but well, I, I was five all with a minute, about two and a half minutes left, and I've I've took out a clearance really quick to go six five. When I probably and I still had an extension, could have slowed down. Could have called that. I probably wouldn't have had to break in the next yeah. frame, but I had to break and potted a couple of balls and ran the time down, which was fortunate. Yeah, yeah it's one of those you you could have probably stripped another minute off the clock and and not had to had to break. Just breaking off, I was thinking, oh no, there's a minute and a half left, and if you, if you break dry, nine out of ten player shanes. Yeah, class. It's hard in that moment to, to, to think of that. You think of it afterwards. But but the good thing is you'll know that for next time. You'll, you'll have learnt that lesson. And next time you'll just be more you know, acutely aware of the, the, the clock. And yeah, especially being like a brand new pro. It's like you, do, you don't think of the shot clock all the time. Or you, you purely think about potting the balls and getting, getting over the line. Or if you do think about the time, you're scared you're going to foul or... Plenty of things to think about. There's another good solid clearance from Tom Jones now. He is going to establish that two frame lead that he had the chance to get early on. I like it. It's a tricky layout again. It is, yeah, it is. I mean, one shot really you've got to land on the yellow in the gap between the red and the black and top three for the two and to the left I wonder if he's if he can get through to the ball over the the left centre now then he's got a, an angle where he could just come up and give that that, that other red a kick yeah, well, he can't can fail to be on something he could even drop down towards the bottom rail and play play them into the middle yeah he's got a few options here yeah you can make an argument for taking the one that's that's just below it now to bottom left. And he's going to go yellows after all that. I was, I was kind of looking at reds there. I'm not. And I can see why you go yellows. Could probably make a case for either there. He could, but with, with the yellow that he's just taken up above yeah. it, that red on the side rail was a bit bodgy. But he's got himself in pretty good stead here. This is not the Jack you've normally <laughs> seen. No. God, Rick's aside on that. I mean, I, I surely can't have, surely can't be playing it with that, that side. I mean, just wanted to play into the gap, didn't you? Just to the left of where he is now and maybe take the bottom one of the three to bottom yeah, right. They all went, so yeah. I don't know what he's trying to move. No. i tell you something. He's, I missed what happened, but something transpired on the... Um, 
on the other table Phil Harrison was on a fairly fairly simple clearance and um, he's Played left the eight balls hanging over the middle pocket so Phil's missed the eight missed the eight ball and let uh, John McAllister in that'll be for a 3-1 lead as well wouldn't it? John's just so steady isn't he he's another one of those players you just just don't see him he's got such a great cue action you just don't see him do anything too extravagant and the cue was always on a string and he rarely misses yeah I feel like this year he's, he's really going to take some beating this weekend he's pretty much been unplayable he's going to have to pull one out of his Jack needs he's got a nice little angle yeah, but yeah. It's, it's still hard needs a touch of luck doesn't he yeah you don't know where they're going really Needs a touch of luck and doesn't get it. <laughs> it rains, it pours. Surely not. No way. Surely not. No. Oh, no. Oh, oh my goodness. My me. God. Well, he's going to have to do another one. <laughs> it's just turned in behind the red there a little bit. <laughs> it did. Uh, you can see a load of finger marks in that area where some of the players break off. It kind of just dived in behind that red to make but it even harder. If he makes contact, the red, go off the red yeah. looks like it will kick it in. Yeah. So Two cushions. Shouldn't be too hard, this one, but fancy him to get it. Yeah, you fancy him to make contact for certain. Oh. Jack is really out of sorts. I've never seen him struggle like this. I was speaking to someone earlier and they did say that he hasn't been practicing a lot lately. And maybe That'll do start it. on the show. That will do it. Well, he hasn't been practicing English April a lot recently. This is the kind of chance that uh, Tom's going to gobble up and very quickly going to go on the hill. So they all link quite perfectly to each other. Doesn't have to do anything with the cue ball whatsoever. Except from a few loose misses, Tom's actually been pretty solid this match. He's yeah. Took yeah. most chances. He's been given chances by Jack, but he's 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 taken them. It doesn't look like he's nervous playing Jack or he looks looks like he's at home out there. Fairly racing around the table. And uh, that eight ball sees Tom Jones go on to the hill. He needs one more. Jack Wheeler needs all four that are remaining. But Tom's definitely deserved deserve to be six three up. Jack, Jack just hasn't been good enough. Yeah, 16 minutes left, so there's plenty of time left on the clock for Jack. But um, Oh, that's, you've got to say that. I mean, he does lose the cue ball, but that's a bit unlucky there. It's criminal, that is really. Are we feeling a bit hard done by the eggs? He's hit the top rail and it's bounced off and gone back in the middle. Just looking across on the um, on the final, John McAllister's just made a monster break against Phil Harrison and been so unfortunate that he's not left a, an opening ball. He just didn't have an opening shot at all. And um, given Phil Harrison a, a great opportunity to come back. If he's on a ball there, then he's probably got a four, four frames to one lead. Jack's played quite a nice shot there to open up this frame. He's got on his problem ball pretty much straight away. Wants the top on and off top cushion now, a little bit left hand side, just to bring it back out. Yeah, I guess the, the one thing he can console himself with, if he can win this frame, he's got two of the two of the last three breaks, isn't he? Yeah, if, if he wins this frame, he'll definitely, he'll definitely know that he can win the match. <coughs> just got to stun out a little bit, leave the angle to land on the one on the cushion, and they're pretty much. It's come a bit too far again now. Probably better. Probably played that. It's probably just me. <laughs> yeah, he's back. 
back on track now, that's perfect. Oh my goodness me. Wow. What is going on, Jack Whelan? He will be disgusted. He will not be a happy man tonight. I tell you what, in, in some ways it's 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 refreshing because you see these top players and you just they never miss and I mean we've we've seen a few players struggle on this table today. I mean we watched Peter Mullaney struggled a bit earlier on and then Connor Tracy struggled against Jordan Jordan Shepherd. Um you just don't often see the top players just really struggling to find some form and I mean whilst it it, it definitely um it won't be um any kind of consolation for uh, for Jack but it's just you know sometimes like as a as a lesser player it's just nice to to know that they're human yeah like Tom will, Tom will be loving it that Jack's missing but Jack definitely won't be um yeah, I've never, I've never seen top, uh, Jack miss as many balls as what he has in this match. Probably don't have to be too harsh on him. Everyone misses raw oh, human. Absolutely, absolutely. But again, he's not got out of snooker, which I would expect him to get. Yeah, and he's left. Tom's got a good chance here for yeah, the match. Left Tom the ball in his hand, so he can put it exactly where he wants to get onto his toughest ball. And then once that ball's gone, that's most of the hard work done. Just needs to think about the order he takes these in. Yeah, if it... Doesn't want to move anything here, he just... I say not to move anything, but I think he will because they're, they're quite... I, I don't like it. I don't like it. And the reason I don't like it is because I think he can leave an angle on the red to top to come twice across the table to land below those two reds and take them both into the same pocket and play all the balls into that pocket I just I think it's unnecessary to move a ball there Yeah, I he's good enough to if he backs himself to get position he gets that clearance he gets that clearance a lot of people don't like to move balls but Tom's one of those players that what shot that is I mean and, and, and this is my point I, he had an easier position shot a minute ago to, to, to get down table to get on it without moving the two balls. The only thing that can go wrong there for him is is, is when he moves the ball. I just think it's unnecessary. Yeah, I mean, he's played a great recovery shot. Hats off to him, but just shouldn't have shouldn't have needed to, in my opinion. Yeah, he should definitely have been a bit more controlled, but he's on the eight and yeah. He's what can you say? Match, so. Hats off. That's a great win for Tom Jones. He'll be over the moon. Yeah, First event, having beaten, having been beaten by Carl Cope. There's that kind of that, that rivalry between them. You know, um, he'll be gutted he, he lost that game, but to come back into this event and um, and, and beat a sculpt like Jack Whelan, okay, it wasn't it wasn't classic Jack, but uh, all the same, great performance from Tom Jones.